Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. Today, that's going to be the biggest update in the history of the Brickworld. We're going to expand the city. You can see a lot of wood already here to build the next table that is going to be placed right at the location. Everything is located here and that's all the stuff we need today. A lot of bricks, base plates, light system from Light My Brick. A lot of stuff, the most expensive update ever here on my channel. We are starting by well, working a little bit with the wood. I need to build the next table. I'm just not uh, uh, using some, yeah, what should I say? Some easy build up because I want to have a table that's very, very stable. So it's stable enough so I can walk on it and nothing is going to break it down, especially because my buildings are very heavy. As you can see here, that's the other side of my table. I have that construction technique of different um parts intersectioning here in these bigger kind of uh quadrates and everything is connected now that's heavy itself now but it's very very stable it's a technique i borrowed from the model train um building of tables and i I already using that technique for years now and it is very, very stable. Now these are the yeah, kind of columns uh, holding the table up. I'm drilling in some holes and that part comes in and then you can uh, just um, put that in. You can um, use it to um, define how high it is. And one of these little metal parts can hold up to 300 kilograms. So that's enough for my uh, tables here. Now I need to place it at the right location and then I need to um, connect it to the already established tables here and I can already see now how big the new areas these are four quadrate meters also four square meters um, and the city is now about 20 square meters big you can see now that the J here is now kind of U and we can go inside here later on you're going to see on the left and on the right side a lot of stuff but now it's time to work on the new part. I already um, drilled in here a little part, removed it because there's going to be the entrance to another underground parking area in the distant future but I needed to put out that little part here on the table so everything is prepared for the future. Now you can see I have eight new base plates, a lot of other stuff. You can already see how big the table is now when you can see these little base plates on top of it. And we're going to uh, just put on these eight base plates because that's the area we're going to work on today. Two new big models. Each of the models is in a size of uh, 64 by 64 studs and it's going to be located right at that location. On the uh, on the um, yeah, on under the table, I already started to connect a new cable here. And I'm now using these little um, kind of tunnels for the cables. Already using here some signs uh, like that is Hauptstraße. It means like Main Street. So I know which cable is going through the table up from the downside if there's any time, any problem downside or on the table. As you can see, that's the area going to work. You can see the little cable here. And now it's starting by placing some bricks to make the yeah the rough outline of today's update you can see going to put in in the middle our um tram um tracks like these these are the same as on the other side so when i'm turning around you can see it's like there's really one um uh, you have to have saying that that part here between the tables is just removed but in it is still there but only imaginary so that's the tram route coming from the left side from the train station over here to the main street. Also, you can see the two street areas here. And now it's time to build, build, and build. So, just adding some of these um, two by two bricks here for the sidewalk. So, because color is not very important because it's just there to be rebuilt or unbuilt with some tiles later on. I already started here working with all the lights. I have some new uh, big light posts here. And also you can see all the cable running here from the left to the right side, coming from here, going there, and then back again and everything, everywhere else. That's the light system from Light My Bricks. I'm using everywhere in my city. And I have now, I think it's five new light posts so i already installed everything here you can see the connection so if i put it up 
the connection is not closed and then the lights go out and when we're pulling it back, the lights go on. That's like these little connectors originally used to make it possible to remove uh, different floors on modular buildings, but you also can use it on the vertical way to connect to different um, modules. It's night already outside. It's time to build more and more. You can see I started working here from the left side. That's the street going to the bus terminal. It's also unfinished right now. But you also can see now that little um, way here. We can see the sidewalk here in front of our building here with the Central Park. And also here you can see the entrance to the underground parking area coming soon in the distant future. But you can see there's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of parts are going into that and it's, as I said at the beginning of the video, it's the most expensive video I ever did here on my channel. And it's one of the biggest also because we are building really on eight base plates, building everything we need, installing light, putting in minifigures, stuff like that. And it took me days of work to really do all of that stuff. And initially, I really, uh, it's, it's not often that I do that by plants that digitally in, in front because I needed so many parts. I do not all have here in my um, boxes etc and now I just uh, had to plan that in front and in advance and now we can see I'm adding these little train tracks here left right in the middle there's going to be some greenery stuff and yes I know the train tracks are a little bit too yeah, too near to that little stripe in the middle we're going to change that in a future update I already did it on a German channel just for your information, I'm going to place the train tracks of the tram a little bit away from that middle stripe later on, but not today. That's something a lot of people said on the German channel, so I changed that, and it is, it is right, so I changed it in a future update. I'm coming soon. I'm right not sure what it is, if it's two or three videos in the future, but it's coming, and if you saw it on the German channel, you already know it. Just a nice view here down to the tra train station and now it's time to build that way here for the bicycles. I'm using that um, color also uh, yeah, Lego is using for their bicycle lanes here all of these printed parts and I think it's a very nice addition to have a little bit of color in all of that gray and dark gray and other colors you have in a city but I think that these lanes for the bicycles are just adding some more very nice color to all of that area. Just adding a new minifigure. That's the 1,002nd minifigure in the city coming more later in the video. And as you can see, there's just some uh, plates here so that holds on. It's very important to really put every minifigure uh, on studs because you just have to yeah, rush once a little bit against one of the tables and everything will fall down. So it's very important that everything is connected to the base plates. And now it's time to really fill up all of these missing parts. So we have our street finished and then we can work on the greenery stuff on the middle and between the light posts here on the right side. And it's going to be insane kind of work. You can see a lot of parts here. Not everything for today. That's just from my boxes. A lot of stuff for that. And on the left side, you can see I already started. And that's, I think it's really nice because it adds one more kind of color into the city. There's a lot of gray. It takes a lot of time, of course, a lot of parts. But I think it's going to be worth all the efforts and time and money and everything else just to really have these that main street here filling up with some interesting details, some life, some light, etc. And yeah, that's what I want to do for today's update. And already you can see there's so much adding to the whole scenery that these um, eight base plates are now here with that street. Now it's time to finish up everything here in the middle. You can see I just finished that stripe. And yeah, I'm not sure about the colors of the flowers, but that's something else. But I, what I also did is I just reopened some parts here because I'm adding here the trees with my special technique I'm using often in my city. So I have that hole of size of one stud so I can put in my um, trees inside here. So I had to open up it here and remove some of the cables to another location. And then we can close everything up and then we can add our little trees standing between the lamp posts and then it looks like that. You can see I'm using a special technique with these houses here 
And I really like the technique because you can have some very interesting uh, trees. Every tree looks like another tree in itself. Never two uh, trees looking the same. And I really think it's a nice addition to have these trees here between the lampposts. Especially if you think about on the right side, there are going to be buildings in the distant future. So we are going to have a very nice street view down, seeing down here to um, that main street here when there's going to be a lot of life later on in future updates coming soon and not so soon in the future. That's the final view for today. We are going to on the right side. I already started to work here with more details, adding more inhabitants. We have now 1,012 minifigures in the city and also added some more greenery between all of these um, lampposts and all of these trees. It might look a little bit too green at the moment, but I think it's going to be better later on when there are all the missing buildings coming up in the months, coming up in the rest of the year or the next year. Also added some new um, little figures here on that side, like that uh, father here with his child. And yeah, I really like how everything looks. There's going to be added more stuff in the future, of course, like of cars, for example, and the buildings on the right and left side. But that is a very big and important update for the city. It was a 400th video on my German channel. So that was the reason for that very big update. Some, as I said, most expensive update ever on my city, on my channel here. I hope you like it too. That very big special update expanding the city to a size of 20 square meters when you are measuring the size of the tables, not what is built yet. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming. Here's a go going to be a roundabout, for example. I'm going to build up um, little um, other streets. I'm going to build a cinema in the future on that table. Some other buildings. And there's also going to be a kind of my own version of the Daily Bugle set. Like I did it with the Brick Bank, for example. And there's a lot of stuff coming up. Like here's a cinema with the ability to look inside into these big rooms with all the people sitting and watching a movie. So there's going to be a lot of stuff on that new table coming in months and years, but yeah, also working in the future when there's going to be more tables we need to work on a cross section between uh, the street and all the trains here and the train area here. So there's a lot of stuff coming in the future, but for today, that was a big, big update for the 400th video on the German channel. So stay tuned for future updates coming soon, coming more and more. And I really hope you liked it. And I really thank you for every comment, every subscription and yeah, everything else. So stay tuned for future updates. Some final views here from the city to the train station from that new area. And yeah, that's it for today. Coming soon more. Bye.